Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited for this video, you can see by the title. This is Ghostbusters Afterlife. I cannot tell you how grateful I am that I get to go see this movie. First off, this movie doesn't come out until the 1st of January in Australia. So thanks to Sony for having me come along to a pre-screening, advanced screening today. I am so lucky and I am such a big Ghostbusters fan. So <laughs> um, yeah, it just could not get any better. I am just, I'm feeling all the joy. When I was in my teen years, I watched the original Ghostbusters maybe every single night. Uh, <laughs> uh, I used to put it on like to get me to go to sleep, not because it's boring, but because it was like my comfort movie. I can probably quote every line. I'm a big fan and I am just really excited for this movie. Obviously we've had a Ghostbusters remake um, and obviously there's a sequel to the original, um, but this time it's very interesting because even though I've seen the trailer, I could not get away from the trailer, even though I've seen the trailer for this film, I've heard that it's not quite a sequel, not quite a reboot, it's something else. So it's just meant to be a weird way it twists in. I'm not sure if that's still the case, if people still think that, but that's what the talk of the town was um, before it came out. It has been released in America, and although this is about a week late for you guys, it's still very early for me to go see it. So I thought I'd bring you along with me, and we're just gonna talk about Ghostbusters. I'm so excited, I love it so much. Um, and I hope there's lots of nods to the original. I'm just hoping for a good time. I know it's gonna be quite different. We got Paul Rudd in this one, Finn, Wolfhard, and McKenna of grace uh, and I, I love all of them and it, I just feel like it's a very it's gonna be a very different tone to the original but I just don't think you can do a Ghostbusters how it was done back then it's just like a different time different kind of sense of humor and just different way of filming so even though the effects were so incredible back then I still think that even the library ghost I, I loved her and I thought she was quite scary for the time so I think this is gonna be a little bit more fun obviously it's gonna be a lot more modern and it's gonna be really interesting to see what they do with the effects and how they weave it in to the original story this one is directed by Jason Reitman who did Juno and Tully I'm just excited for a good time it says it's rated M I know it's just gonna be more of a kind of family adventure fun movie and I always think Ghostbusters isn't purely horror but of course it has the paranormal element so let's go and have some fun and go see the premiere of Ghostbusters here in Australia because it's premiering on the same day across the country. I'm so excited. Thank you Sony. Let's go. <laughs> Fantastic. It was so, so good. Ah! Okay. Um, and I do want to correct myself because, I mean, two things. Number one, I did not realize <laughs> the director was the son of the original director. I don't know how I missed that memo. Um, when I say original director, the director of the first um, original Ghostbusters. So it's the, I didn't realize, because I see him as a director on his own, like the fact that he's done Juno, I didn't really make that connection. So I want to correct myself with that. And then second, 
I am just floored by the fact that they were able to keep the same, a lot of the same feeling from the original film, and we'll talk about why without any spoilers. I am not going to spoil this film. Um, we saw like a little insert by the director before the film, and um, he said to the audience, don't spoil anything. And I don't like spoiling anything anyways. These videos are to show you my opinion on the film and I'm sure you can see it even if you have seen the film. You can understand what parts I like and didn't like from the way I speak about these films. But it's also to give people an idea whether they personally would like this film and whether it's worth them spending the money and time going to the cinema or if they should just wait for it to come out on VOD. So <laughs> this film somehow... Well, I'll, I'll get into why, but really has a lot of the same feelings as the original 80s film, which was very interesting because I really didn't think that they could capture that um, now. But in knowing that the father actually did sit in with um, the director of this film, uh, it makes a lot more sense. Um, but we'll get into some of the reasons. So this film is about a family. We've got Carrie Coon, who plays the mother, Finn Wolfhard, who plays Trevor, the son, and McKenna Grace, who plays Phoebe. McKenna Grace... This is such a freaking good role for her. Number one, it's a great role for anyone. I think that she was fantastic in this film, um, but I just loved her character. Her character is one of my favourite characters in film this year. I just thought she she was amazing, and she... Um, she had something interesting about her that it wasn't so pushy and a lot of the characters that are kind of oddballs they sometimes come off as a little bit overdone and there was just such a sweetness and charming aspect to her and I think she just played her fantastically. So the film is about that family of three so there's a single mother and she's having trouble with the bills and you know paying for rent and uh, her father passes away who she doesn't really know um, and she inherits his property which is in the middle of nowhere um so she goes out there with her family and her daughter is like um she's really into science she's a bit of an oddball and then the son you know is just a typical teenage son who is not into the idea of moving but then changes his tune once he finds um a girl in the area but when they move into this house they realize that not everything is as it seems and maybe there might be some paranormal activity so the film does have a lot to do with the original it is full of easter eggs and um just throwbacks i don't think that you would benefit i mean i don't think it's going to be the worst film ever to see if you haven't seen the original there's definitely some fun aspects and there's original characters and it's just different um, in a lot of ways but I do think that you'll benefit more from seeing the original um, because as I said they do have something to do with each other um, but I don't want to get too much into that but I still think that because this is such like an adventure and almost family movie in some aspects uh, I can understand why people who were a fan of you know the the original Ghostbusters might want to take their kids to see this new one with these new characters. Um, so that was very interesting. But the thing that I absolutely loved in this movie and what really linked it to the original for me was the music. They played all of the original um, score throughout the... Oh my God, it's so good. Because it was, as I said at the start, I used to watch this every single night when I went to bed. And so I know all the music so well as I'm sure a lot of you do, just like all of the sound beds and where they're placed in the movie and they kept a lot of them and it was so rewarding. Um, I really love that and it really did bring back some of that, um, that vibe and just it really just puts you back in like, it's like a time capsule. It's amazing. So I really enjoyed that aspect. Um, as I said, original characters were great. Uh, Phoebe, my favorite. She was just so good. Paul Rudd is also charming as always, sexiest man. <laughs> of the year um and you can see why in this film again he's Paul Rudd you, you, you can do no wrong he really cannot do no wrong even if he is Paul Rudd playing Paul Rudd I'm still down with it um and I did think Finn Wolfhard I'm not really I mean Stranger Things I'm a little bit I, I like the first season but I've gone back and forth with it um and I was really impressed in this I know he's had some um challenging roles <laughs> uh, I'm thinking about this one so it was really cool to see him in this and see how he's transitioning out of um the younger phase I guess of his acting and um moving along I think that he did really good and he was really well suited to this movie I sometimes think that they stick the kids from Stranger Things although they are all talented don't get me wrong I feel like they get stuck in some films that they don't really 
suit um, just because of their names and, um, you know, the generation that would really uh, gravitate towards watching films with them in it. Um, but I thought he was fantastic. I really did. Another thing I absolutely loved about the film, obviously, this is not a spoiler, Ghostbusters. There's definitely ghosts in this film and they kept the look and the feel of them very similar to uh, the original and I I loved that. I It was almost like they updated the CGI or like the effects on them but they didn't completely change them. They had the same kind, they just looked the same and I really really enjoyed that. I also liked in parts where there was like fog or smoke, they would use real fog or smoke and it was just... It was just so rewarding because it had that kind of practical effect looking aspect to it. A lot of it is similar in the way it's made. Um, so, and if you've seen the original, you'll be able to see and really feel that. It, it, yeah, it was pretty amazing. And I thought that, that was a really good throwback. So another reason that I really enjoyed this film was because I had a really good cinema experience. Everyone there was fans cheering. Some woman was laughing the whole time when things weren't that funny, but that's okay. <laughs> um, but what I really enjoyed was the theater because we were in a really um, good quality uh, new cinema the oh my god the sound it was so good but in this movie there's a lot of earthquakes and rumblings and all that fun stuff and whenever there was like a hectic scene and a lot was going on with the action uh the whole cinema was shaking and it was amazing <laughs> it felt like the whole thing was vibrating it felt like you were in it and I really really enjoyed that and for that reason I would encourage you to go see at the cinemas but it depends obviously what cinema and how accessible that is to you. Overall I think Ghostbusters Afterlife is so original the way it really does a homage to the original film. Um, I think that it is very rewarding as I keep saying um, for fans of the original Ghostbusters um, and it was just a fun time. All of the characters were great. I liked everyone and there was no one that I didn't want to see on screen. Um, dialogue was great music was amazing and just the story it was it was just beautiful I don't want to give too much away but I do want to say this definitely gets my stamp of approval uh, I really enjoy this film and it's one of the best cinema experiences I've had this year and I hope it is for you I can't wait to hear what everyone thinks of Ghostbusters Afterlife I've not looked so it will be really interesting to see if everyone hates it <laughs> but I've been there done that I've done that a couple of times and that's totally fine but I want to know why you liked it or why you didn't like it down in the comments down below Ah, it was so exciting. Um, if you can see it in the cinemas, I definitely recommend it. I don't think you'll be sorry. And I am sorry for hyping it up, but I'm also not because it's so nice to be excited about a film and really enjoy the whole experience. I'm going to give the film a 9 out of 10. I absolutely loved it. I know. A 9 out of 10. I said it. <laughs> um, for personal. For scare, I'm going to give it a 0 out of 10. It's not a scary movie at all. Oh, wait, no. I'm going to give it a, a 2 because I did jump at one point. I'm going to give it a 2. I take it back. Um, and for originality, very interesting. I'm going to give it a 7. I think it was quite an interesting... Um film. <laughs> That's all I'll say on that. Um, I hope you are having a fantastic day. Uh, let me know what you thought down below, as I said before, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd love to have you here. I do two videos every single week talking about horror movies and thrillers, giving you a lot to put in your recommendation list, telling you what films are worth your time, and um, hopefully just guiding you through horror um, and thrillers. I love doing that, and I love that you are along with me for the ride, so make sure you subscribe, like this video, and I'll see you very soon. I have an epic video coming up. You will want to subscribe for it. An epic video. I don't know if I've bitten off more than I can chew. It's going to come up in the next few weeks. Okay. <laughs> I hope you're having a fantastic day. I'll talk to you very soon. Stay safe and stay spooky and stay puffed. Bye. <laughs>